today we fishing country style we will not be using regular bait no way we may get them shiners there oh let's go down here to the goldfish guys good bass people we're gonna get this thing off here That's what he said. It was just an old 75 Johnson. All right, guys, we got our bait. Uh, let's get these guys dropped to the bottom. Country style. Well, you guys heard that right. We're back out here checking lures and such. Huh? Trying to find the perfect lure. Well, to hook on to that monster I'm trying to catch. But, uh, I've got the boys with me and we're looking for the perfect bait. We're going to get a couple hooks and weights, guys. We're going to get out of here. Stay tuned. Well, we mentioned we had a fishing trip planned for y'all. And, uh, we stopped here just to get the bait. Y'all stay tuned. Alright, so you guys guessed it right. Well, Let's drop them to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Cool color, ain't it? Yep. I'd like to drop that purple one there to the bottom. I'll drop him to the bottom. That one right there? Mm-hmm. You think he's catching anything? Mm -hmm. That carpet's down the bottom. You think he's you think he catching anything? I think. What do you think he catch? I think I'm going to catch a drum. A drum off him? You might catch a drum if you drop him down. I forgot. Put the bobber on before the hook. Well, Maria's getting them all uh, baited up and such. The boys said they're getting ready to go to work. Well, we're trying a new bait today. Today we're going to be fishing with goldfish. You guys seen that right? We got that goldfish on there just up underneath this strike indicator here. And well, he's going down. These boys here has got hooked up to some pretty good fish so far. A uh, nice size bluegill in here and such. And uh, DJ's got one on here. He wanted me to go get the camera so that uh, y'all can see his bass he got. Well, I'm gonna help him lift him up here. Bring him on up, DJ. Lift him on up here. Whoa, dude, he's heavy. I'm about to get back him. Bring him over here. Well, got you a good bass. What'd you catch him on? Mm, I use a goldfish. Yep, got him a good bass on a goldfish. Oh. Let's get that hook out of him and let DJ get him pitch back out there. Stay tuned. CJ said. DJ caught the first fish, and he ain't having it. He's out here taking it serious. What are you going for? Hmm. A, a bass. Yeah. A big one. Got us a good gill here. Caught him on an old goldfish. Let's get another one thrown out. What you say about it? Sound like he said. I sure hate that I ate that goldfish today. Now, the pigs are gonna eat me. So we're piling up a good little bait in here. Uh, a lot of them are hand size. Some of the smaller ones we'll use for bait and such. Guys, look like CJ's hooked up. Yeah, he's hooked up, he's bringing them up over there. Let's get on over. He says he's got him a good bass on that goldfish there. Oh, he's fighting. CJ told him to come over here, Sam. Y'all, CJ says he's hooked up to a decent bass. And uh, so far, he's told him to come over here. Get over here, old school Luke Kane Mortal Kombat style. Oh, there he is. There he is. CJ say, CJ say he saved the best for last. And uh, got him just barely hooked at the top there. Good bass. Let's get them off here and let CJ get them old picture. Yeah, dude. What you think about them, CJ? Good. Good fish. For you. Good hey, for hey, you. Hey, Let's hey. get them off here. Well, CJ say he got them a real six pounder this time. What you think, CJ? What you gonna do with them? Mm. Put it back in the water. CJ say he said he gonna put them back. Anything you wanna tell him? Since he bleeding. He bleeding a little bit. Mm. All right. What'd you catch him on? Goldfish. He caught him on a goldfish. Well. Let's get this goldfish laced up. All right, guys. Well, the competitive level has risen a little bit. And uh, now it's me versus CJ. There's no way I'm just going to keep getting wore out. Uh, 
I'm gonna get back to my side here. He gets hooked up, we'll run over again. But uh, about to be an old fashioned shootout. I'm talking about Mayweather Pacquiao. Woo. All right, y'all, so Maria was over here cheering for me. Now she's over in his corner. I guess I'm a little jealous. Well, I guess no excuse, I better produce something. Well, CJ threw his best shot at me and uh, he landed a good fish, but uh, I came back with a decent counter. Woo. Well, you know we keep them busy watching bobbers on the water. Tell them cast their cares away. Y'all ain't had no more luck? No. It's been a little slow? Yeah. CJ, how would you feel if I told you? You know that big bass you caught? What if I tell you I just caught one bigger? CJ and I, we're going at it. I'm talking about old school style. I'm talking about country country. I'm talking about country like adding water to the radiator every 20 minutes. Woo. Never mind. Some of you ain't never had to drive nothing like that to work, I see. All right, guys. Uh, we waited this area out here. And uh, it's pretty much been slow. CJ and DJ over there, they hadn't had any more action. So uh, the thing about packing it in and uh, into another spot. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we've arrived to our next area here. And... Uh, as you guys saw from the other area there, we've got plenty of bait fish. We don't have any need for any more fish, but uh, the boys want to stop in and play in the water some. So here we are. Let's cast out at least a rod and see what we can come up with. Y'all stay with us. Well, hadn't had any luck as far as the rod and reel goes. We've been thrown out here, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so. But uh, I went to throw my net here because I saw some... Look like some shiner over in that corner there. But uh this is all I'm pulling in, y'all. Not a fish in sight. Uh if any of y'all know what kind of grass this is, uh I should like to know because well, I'm thinking about growing some in Gilligan's Island. My core needs some of the later eggs is the issue. So chime in if you guys uh recognize this grass here. Hey, I think this is the funnest block I ever seen. I knew so, we snuck off with Chris and Carolyn. Yes, we're, we're gonna look for some. I'm gonna fish it all by myself. We're gonna look for some more bait along this riverbank here. Okay. And see what other things we can find, huh, DJ? Yeah. Fish on. <laughs> get him. There you go. Get him, get him, get him. DJ, it looks like he's giving you a hard time. Yeah. Is this a bass? Well, bring him up out the grass so we can see him, DJ. There you go. What you got here? A bass. You need a bluegill. I need a heavy and I dot. I'm going to take it off. Yeah, I'm going to blow him back. She hooked up in there. Dude. I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to. He's. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm going to go back. Let's see him. That's a good one. Yep. Good job. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this thing up. Uh, after that good bluegill there, I got into another decent bass over in the creek behind me. But uh, I uploaded that thing to the other YouTube as the shorts. But uh, So you guys won't get a chance to see that. But uh, y'all stay with us. We're going to take a few of the extra sunfish and such that we did catch that we won't be using for catfish bait. We're going to take them guys on home and uh, feed them an old collard green. Stay tuned. So we made it back in with our chicks here. And uh, we've got some of those fish you guys saw us catch up there. Let's start by throwing them. Well, guys, they said I didn't know we were playing old blue 42. Nobody told me. Woo. Got to pay attention in practice, Bubba. But like I was saying, guys, we made it back with some of these smaller fish here. And uh, 
our chickens say. Our chickens say they'll like them as snacks, of course. Uh, Y'all, I don't know if this is the last video you guys will see us before Christmas or not. But uh, if we don't see you guys again, we want to tell you, well, Merry Christmas from the bottom of our hearts. But uh, let's finish feeding these guys up here. We probably got about, I don't know, let's throw about five or six more in there. There's one there. Well, yeah, I knew you was going to come take them. Guys, that old red one right there with his butt at us right there. Well, running off with him. Well, he got Debo then. Look like he, that other one say he don't care how tough he's supposed to be. Well, let's throw some more in there. Here's your another. <laughs> Guys, uh, this old pig here, the old brown spider one there. Well, he says he ain't waiting on me to put no brims down there. There you go. We've got our chickens up in this area for now, guys. Sorry about that sun. Not much I can do about it. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can just turn into it. So, oh, that's better or worse. But what we're doing here is we've got this area here, and uh, we're letting the pigs turn the ground up for us. They're doing some digging and rooting and carrying on, and we're letting the chickens fertilize, mix in with that. So we're getting this area here ready for. Well, you guys know once that spring comes around, it's Farmer Joe time. Farmer Joe. Take that old bass head there. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw this old piglet here. That's omelet there. The white pig is omelet. Uh, we'll give omelet that old sunfish cross there. Y'all, I'm talking about country like when daddy let me drive. Y'all, don't act like you's above. Sitting in your parents' lap. And, uh, well, trying to reach down in them pedals to learn how to drive when you're eight or nine years old. It was just an old 75 Johnson. Electric choke. Let's throw, let's throw that on back there. Well, them old hens there, y'all see, I don't know what breed they are. I just call them old fancies. And uh, them old fancy hens there, they better lay some blue eggs come March. And if they don't lay up some blue eggs, well, they'll be a fancy pot roast is what they'll be. Let's pitch some more over in there too. All right, guys, we got all the chores just about done. And uh, we're walking this old chicken up. And uh, old collard green says she wasn't satisfied with the fish. She says she ain't on no fish diet. Uh, she want Tyson, the silky edition. And she says she like it well done as well. So uh, we're headed over to her area there. And uh, this gentleman here just went on ahead and donated his life uh, graciously, like they say. And uh, old collard green said, well, I'm here and waiting. Where is he at? I heard you guys had silky for me. Y'all collar green so dumb she missed the silky. I'm gonna have to go in there and help her. Well, well, looks like old turnip green been spotted it, y'all. Turnip green's out of here. Well, Repco, you've been left out, and collard green, you've been left out. And that's Big Fred there in the back. I get carried away like the moon, like the light in your eye. Y'all, there's no way I can sit here and try to feel the boots old George Strait. Any song sung by George Strait is still country at its best. I've got to clear up the reference I made earlier regarding water in the radiator. Well, right away Maria acted like she was above it. Uh, and there's a time I remember her having to add a little water in the radiator. Uh, a lot of you on the channel. You guys know how it is when you got your first car. Everybody remembers the first car. Well, I ain't gonna spend too much t time telling you guys about mine, but uh, it had holes in the floorboard and just a 305. But uh, I came over here to feed these old pigs up and I ended up just rambling on talking to you. Guys, they're in there sideways. Here's your another one. They fighting over the same fish and I got plenty. Let's put some more off in there for them. There we go. We'll see if that old chicken like, or that old chicken like brim. He said he'll pass on the brim today. He's got plenty of corn. My first car was, I believe it was an 89 model Dodge Dakota. Well, long bed, of course. Guys, you know, when you're 16 and learning how to drive, well, the guys on the channel know, you got to have the long bed, got to have the long bed. And, uh, well, I put a square bale of hay in there. I drove around, guys, and I advertised hay rides for all of Halloween. White Dodge Dakota, guarantee it was. Woo.
I was clearing out my bucket of fish there. Well, feeding to these coonies here. And, uh, well, I stumbled up on the last goldfish for bait. Let's see if one of them chickens over there won't. Well, that, that girl right there said, well, she says, I don't know. It looks a little golden. That don't look like it's from our side of the town. Well, I ain't gonna go there. Anyhow, but I was feeding these old uh, coonies up. And I got to getting carried away. Y'all know I can't help it. Sometimes I just get carried away. All right, guys. Well, I was in there uh, tending to my koi tank and uh, releasing some of those additional goldfish you guys saw. I had extra left over there. Uh, normally, we have extra goldfish and those kind of things. We bring those home. And, well, you know what we do. But I stopped in to visit with this old hamster here. And uh, I wanted to show you guys. Well, as you can tell, she's done had triplets in there. Uh, she's got two daughters and a uh, male in there. So uh, we're gonna grow these things out and uh, let them be part of the creek, guys. It just goes to show, God don't sleep. Thanks for watching.